Most people think that creating high quality video ads requires massive budgets, expensive equipment and teams of professionals. But that's simply not true anymore. In fact, after discovering this one specific Val3 prompt template, I've been able to create ads that rival what Nike, Apple and Coca-Cola spend millions on. I know that sounds insane, but the reason most people struggle is that they're using the same basic prompts, getting terrible results and giving up. That's why I'm going to show you the exact prompts that work and a step-by-step -step system to customize them for any brand so you don't spend hours figuring this out yourself before we jump in check out these ads i created using this prompt system linked all the original prompts and our prompt template in a google doc in the description make sure to grab them to follow along and don't forget to support the original creators on twitter for this tutorial we're using open art as it's the best all-in-one ai video generator within this tool we can easily create videos with vo3 and switch between different kinds of ai video generators like seed ends or cling ai i've put the link for open art down below so you can test this out with their free trial so check the link down below in the description and use vo3 in this amazing tool so let me walk you through the setup real quick then we'll dive into customizing the prompts first go to open art ai sign up and then click on videos from the top navigation you'll see several tabs here but for what we're doing we want text to video so i'm clicking that now we need to make sure we're using the right video model so i'm going to check this drop down near the top of the interface and select google vo3 as my video model all right, now that we've got the right open art set up with Vo3, let me show you the three step system I use to take any of these viral prompts and customize them for different brands. The first step is to set up our base prompt. So I'm grabbing this Tesla prompt from our Google Doc and pasting it into Claude. Quick note, all of these come in English or JSON format, but either works fine. Now for the language model choice, you can use ChatGPT or Gemini, but I prefer Claude since it's really good at understanding structure and making changes. So let's start by giving Claude specific instructions. Take this Tesla prompt and customize it for BMW, featuring a white BMW in a desert setting instead of a city notice i'm getting really specific that's key because vo3 responds better to detailed visuals than generic requests like make it look better so the more specific you are the better results you will get and look at this claude is generating the new prompt live now let's test this and see how it performs so i'm going to copy this new bmw prompt and paste it into open art let me generate this first test and see what we get Okay, it's good, but we can make this way better. This is where most people stop, but we're going to keep refining. Now, as you refine the prompt, don't try to fix everything at once. Change one thing at a time and do everything step by step. This way, it will be much easier for Claude than everything at once. So let me go back to Claude and fix these issues. I'm going to tell it, make the BMW the main focus of the shot. It should dominate the frame and change the desert setting to a winding mountain highway with dramatic cliffs in the background. Look at this updated prompt with the improvements. Now let me generate the second version in open art with this new prompt. nice but let's make one final adjustment to make this really pop i'm going to tell claude change the lighting to golden hour with warm cinematic tones add dynamic camera movement start with a wide shot and pushing close to the bmw perfect now let me create this final generation and see how it looks Now that is sick, see how much better this looks? The car actually pops now and that lighting makes it feel like a real car commercial. But here's the thing, what works for BMW isn't going to work for Nike. They're completely different companies and if you use the same approach, your Nike ad is going to look terrible. So let's try customizing a prompt for Nike. Nike is all about motivation and they want you pumped up, but the shoes have to be the main focus. That's why I'm grabbing this Tesla prompt from our Google Doc since it's all about 
making the product pop off in our video. Now I'm opening Claude again, pasting our prompt and telling it, transform this into a Nike sneaker reveal emerging from the iconic Nike shoe box with bold lighting and slow rotating shots that showcase the shoe with Nike's signature. Look at what Claude came up with. This is exactly what we want. Let me throw this into open art and see what we get. Okay, this is pretty good, but the shoes are not popping out as much. That's not going to work because Nike always makes sure their product is in the front and center. So let's go back to Claude and give it specific feedback. Focus on dramatic studio lighting that makes the Nike sneaker look dynamic with bold shadows and that signature Nike swoosh glow. Let me generate this updated version. Now this actually looks like a real Nike commercial. See how those shoes are glowing on the screen? This is exactly why being specific with your feedback matters. I didn't just say make it better, I told Claude exactly what to change. The dramatic studio lighting of the shoes, the bold shadows and also making the Nike swoosh stand out. Being that specific is what turned a decent ad into something that top notch. But Nike's high energy approach would be a complete disaster for Apple. Apple is all about clean, minimal and premium so that needs a different prompt apple takes the opposite approach instead of high energy they make you fall in love with the actual product using beautiful close-ups perfect lighting and making every angle look perfect that's why i'm grabbing our tesla prompt again it's got the clean simple foundation that apple loves so we don't have to start from scratch so let's open claude again paste in our prompt and then tell it transform this into an iphone reveal with pristine white backgrounds dramatic product light and slow rotating shots that showcase the device. Now, let me generate this in open art. This looks good, but let's push Apple style further. Apple is obsessed with good lighting, so everything looks premium. Let's put this prompt into Claude. Focus on dramatic studio lighting that makes the iPhone look like it's floating with soft shadows and that signature Apple glow. Look at how Claude improved this. Let's throw this into open art and see what we get. Much better. See how different this feels from the Nike ad we just made? We used the exact same process but got a totally different result. The beauty of this system is that it works for whatever brand you're working on. So there you have it. That's the exact system I use to create million dollar looking ads with any brand. The Google Doc with all the prompts we use today is linked in the description below. So make sure to grab that. And if you want to try open art for yourself and test this system out, there's also a link below that supports the channel at no extra cost to you. I'll see you in the next one.